Welcome to another JSArmsCo.com video with parts that get it done. And the parts we're demonstrating today are the quick detach sling fore and aft. And as you can see, I've already got this one mounted to save, save time. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need a 1364 drill bit and you're gonna put tape on it. And the tape is going to be about the depth of the cup. And then you'll need a 13 30 second and you'll put the, that and that will be the t depth of this nut and we're going to show you how to pull that nut i've already pre-drilled this once because i actually screwed up and didn't press the record button and then you'll need a 3 16 to drill through back here to be able to install this back right there so to get started you'll take your allen wrench and you'll pull this screw out from this side and I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna mount my cups on the left side. You pull out this screw. This cup will be all nice and mounted in there tight. You'll take the screw and you'll put it in to the cup. And using a hammer or something, you pry it until you get it out. Because we're gonna reuse this, but we're not gonna reuse this. When you drill, you gotta be real careful because it makes these long tendrils, as you can see. It doesn't, um, make chips and it will pull the drill bit in really fast. So when you put it in the drill, chuck it, and you go to make the cuts, just kind of do a pulse on the slowest speed. Just do a pulse. And then once you reach the depth of the tape, which you'll see this is on that depth of that tape. See we're there. Then you'll pull your tendrils out of the way and then you'll take your cup You'll set your cup there and you can tap it home with a hammer. Then we'll flip this over and we'll drill this side out again with the drill being pulses because you're going to have to long tendrils to clean out the tendrils. Then you take this and as you can see there's some ridges on one end. That's the end that goes up. And so what you can do is you can take the, the, the screw again to be able to insert that and then tap it home pull that screw out. Now we take our long supplied stainless steel screw and a Phillips head screwdriver and we just uh, screw it home until it's nice and tight. The reason we have pliers here is because this has a lock washer on it. And so when we drill our hole, you can drill it here or you can drill it here. I chose to drill it on the high end. You thread through your cup with your nut. You hold the nut with a pair of pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, and you tighten it up. And then now you have your cups. This shouldn't be in your way and this is nice and flush. So it shouldn't be in your way. And you can th throw your quick detaches in there that are supplied with the the kit or you can throw them on your you throw them on your high point provided sling and you can just use that or if you want to get fancy with it you can buy one of these nice ones I found on Amazon that's made with paracord which is really great in case you get in a bad situation in the woods where you need some cordage to make a shelter or tie up something whatever you need it'll be there and then you can use that now some people were saying i want a single point well where do you put a single point point? and we've discussed this in another video but now i actually sell a single point that will go in this hole here so that you can have a quick detach here which would be where you would attach your single point it comes with the attached screw and you just repeat the process here. You take the screw out, you pull out the nut, you drill the hole, you drill the other hole, you put the nut in on the other side, and then you just bolt it together. And then that cup should be flush right with that. And then you're, you have a single point sling. Well, thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this informational video. Thank you for joining JSArmsCo.com where we make parts that get it done. Be safe at the range.